Hi friends, welcome to my Bamuts Biogenius YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about Biogenius 2023 question and answers. First of all, I would like to thank all the participants of this competition for your overwhelming response. I am also thankful to the coordinators and this year the this competition was held in seven different streets, uh, districts of Maharashtra Nagpur, Amravati, Akola, Vartha, Yavatma, Solapur and Kola. So we will discuss the question and answers of this competition. The first question is uh, this one. So if you have got a set A, the question number one will be how will you identify herbivorous or carnivorous dinosaurs by looking at its fossilized egg? In set B, this question will be on question number 7 on the right hand side column of page B1. So, the answer to this question is uh, this one. With the help of a poor distribution and structure, you can identify whether that particular egg is uh, carnivorous or a herbivorous so all herbivorous dinosaurs eggs have a different type of a poor distribution as compared to the carnivorous dinosaurs distribution so this is a question from the paleontology now the next Question is question number two organic compounds in living organisms are made up of A L isomers, B D isomers, C mixture of D and L isomers, and D none of them. So, this is the question from the biochemistry, and the answer is L isomers. So, most of the organic compounds in living organisms are L isomers. Then Question number three, green ammonia is synthesized from, this is a question from the environmental science. This question number three in set B is a question number nine. So options are A, water and atmospheric nitrogen, B, methane and atmospheric nitrogen, C, water, methane and air, and D, human urine and water. So the answer is answer A, water and atmospheric nitrogen so you can see here this is how that the green ammonia is synthesized water is electrolyzed and by which oxygen is removed and the hydrogen that is that comes out is uh, interacting with the nitrogen to form a green ammonia so this is the question from the environmental science then the question number four is the cadherins are the main proteins found in the adherence junctions. Which of the following groups do not have cadherins? This is the question from the molecular cell biology. Number one, plants. Number two, fungi. Number three, animals. And four is a bacteria. So the option is C, that is one, two, and four. That is plants, fungi, and bacteria. They don't have cadets. Then the question number five, which is from the biochemistry, which option is right when we arrange um, the amount of elements present in our body in a descending order? So the answer is oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. You can see here the amount of oxygen is uh, more as compared to carbon than comes uh, hydrogen and then nitrogen. Then the next question is from the molecular biology. Question number six is uh, DNA methylation is a covalent chemical modification of uh, diadash carbon of a cytosine. Second, third, fourth or fifth? The answer is fifth that is D. Then the next question is from the obituary. You can see here he was a great scientist, James Lovelock. 
you can see the last year British environmental scientist James Lovelock was in the news. Which of the following statement statements is are correct about him? He is a proponent of a Gaia hypothesis. He was nicknamed as a climate prophet, famous for his he was a famous for his experiments on effect of temperature on organisms. And fourth one is he died last year due to old age complications. The answer here is uh, the all of the above that is answer D. So this was uh, James Lovelock. Then the question number eight is from the conservation. On set B, it will be question number two. So Question number eight is uh, read the following statements and identify the tree. Number one is a 1792 edict of Tipu Sultan declared this tree as a royal tree. Number two, in the 1997, this tree is placed in a vulnerable category by IUCN red list. And number three, after a few months of growth, the roots of this tree produces osteria to suck essential nutrients from host plant species. Option A is a Tectona grandis, B. Santanum album, C. Ficus bengalensis, and D. Ficus religiosa. So, this plant from the third point, we can understand that this plant is a semi parasitic. And since it is depicted in the edict of Tipu Sultan, that means this plant must be from Mysore region. So, you can imagine that Mysore region is famous for Santalam Alpha, that is Chandan trees. So the answer is B. Now the question number 9 is from the morphology. What do you mean by prehensile teeth? We have seen that in most of the animals, prehensile tail is there. Option A circular, B able to get coiled, C able to grasp, and D to encircle around. Answer is C able to grasp. You can see here a prehensile tail can support an animal's body completely. Prehensile implies able to grasp from the Latin prehendere to take hold of, to grasp. So this is the reference for this answer. So this is question number nine. Then question number ten. Obelisk structure is shown by this group of organisms. See, option is A spiders, B colonnades, C bag insects, and D flightless birds. Answer is uh, odonates. You can see here this posture. Uh, or, or the obelisk posture helps to avoid heat and makes body perpendicular to the sun rays. You must have seen uh, these uh, odonates. They are um, wandering near the pond or water bodies and they are most of the time they are sitting like this. So this is the question number 10 from animal A. Then uh, question number 11, July 12 is the, you can see here, July 12, World Penguin Day is observed on April 25, World Water Day is on 22nd March, World Paper Bag Day is on 12th of July. World Earth Day is on 22nd April. So the answer is C. Then question number 12. You will not find male in this particular genus of snakes. Mangaris, Indotiplops, Naja, Crotalis. Answer is B. Indotiplops. You know that Mangaris is a great. Naja means cobra. Crotalis means uh, kind of a viper. So the answer is uh, endotiflops. Most of the time, the endotiflops are non poisonous snakes and these are also called as a flower pot snakes. They don't have 
males in the only females are observed and these females give rise to another female by parthenogenesis. So you will not find any kind of a male in these particular reptiles. Then question number 13. This is question number 21 of set B. So question number 13 is in lymphatic system the lymph collected through lymphatic system is poured back into the blood vascular system. It is poured in veins, arteries, heart, kidney. The answer is A veins. So the question number 14. Kuffer cells of liver are modified dash cells. Lymphocyte, macrophage, erythrocyte or platelets. So we all know that this is macrophage answer B. Then question number 15. When plasma proteins are subjected to electrophoresis, identify which of the following peak shows antibody fraction gamma globulates. So you can see here, these are the peak that we observe when we see uh, these plasma proteins against their molecular weight. Answer here is D, that is gamma globulates. So you will find this portion is of the gamma globulins. Then question number 16. There are different kinds of reproductive isolation shown by plants and animals. Even a bird courtship task is a kind of temporal isolation, musical isolation, behavioral isolation or hybrid in viability. So this isolation is a behavioral isolation. So this is the question number 16. Now the next question is question number 17. ICAR Central Tuber Crops Research Institute is located at Shimla, Himachal Pradesh, Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala, Jaipur, Rajasthan, Guwahati, Assam. The answer is Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. Then question number 18. Animal deterrent spray to prevent wildlife attack contains acetic acid, tannin, theobromine, capsaicin. The answer is capsaicin. The answer is D. So you can see here these animal deterrent spray is derived from a chili ingredient that is known as a capsaicin. Then question number 19, World Intellectual Property Day is celebrated on 26 April, 26 May, 26 July, 26 August. The answer is the 26 April. So World Intellectual Property Day is celebrated every year on 26th of April. This is to promote discussion of the rule of intellectual property in encouraging innovation and creativity. So this is the question number 19 in set A and question number 13 in set B. Then question number 20. Who was the famous Indian doctor honored by WHO for saving 50 million lives by managing diarrhea with the ORS formula. Dr. Dilip Mahalnobis, Dr. P. V. Gaitambu, Dr. S. S. Badrinath, Dr. Manjula Arunrani. The answer is answer A, Dr. Dilip Mahalnobis. Another question number 21 is all web spiders produce seven different types of silk threads. Silk producing glands of the spider are present in the mouth, abdomen, eyes or legs. This is abdomen. Then question number 22. 
hormone detected in the pregnancy kit is produced by placenta, ovary, uterus or vagina? The answer is placenta. That is answer A. You know all, you know that the placenta secretes a human chorionotropin, gonadotropin and that is called as HCG and that is utilized for identification of pregnancy. Then uh, question number 23, identify the group of primary consumers. See, there are four options, A, tiger, bison, deer and panda, panda, honeybee, deer and sea cow, honeybee, cockroach, cat and dog, camel, leopard, elephant and chimpanzee. So, all out of these, the answer is B, panda, honeybee, deer and sea cow. So, the answer is B. This is the question number 23 in set A and question number 17 in set B. Then question number 24, who wrote the book Micrographia in 1665? Robert Hooke. Anton von Liebenhoek, Hippocrates, or Karl Linnaeus? The answer is Robert Hooke. So, it was a kind of a collection of 56 figures uh, that were drawn with the help of microscopes. That's why the name given is Micrographia. Then question number 25, Balfour's law is about amount of light and eye aperture, amount of yolk and cleavage, amount of sunlight and photosynthesis, amount of feed and biomass in cattle. The answer is amount of yolk and cleavage. So the answer is B. Then question number 26, facilitated diffusion is a very, very selective because A. It uses membrane protein, it uses B. It uses ATP, C. It uses a diffusion gradient and D. None of the above. The answer is it uses membrane protein because these membrane proteins are specified or they have a particular structure which binds with the particular uh, kind of a, um, substance that is to be transported across the membrane. So this is question number 26. Answer is A. Now the question number 27. Which statement is correct about placental mammals? Number one, placental mammals have very negligible amount of yolk in their eggs. Number two, placenta is present in all the mammals. Number three, placenta is also responsible for providing oxygen to the developing embryo. The answer to this question is one and three, that is B. Placental mammals have very negligible amount of yolk in their eggs and third, Placenta is also responsible for providing oxygen to the developing embryo. Second statement is wrong. Placenta is present in all the mammals. Because in some mammals, ovipary is there. Means mammals, they lay eggs. So in the such cases, placenta is not there. This is the question number 27 in set A and in set B it is the question number 34 on page B3. Now the question number 28 consider the following statements about viruses. Number one they have the ability to undergo mutation and thereby change their ability to infect host. Number two their DNA can be incorporated into host cell DNA. Number three, viruses cannot be cultured on any nutrient medium. And number four, viruses are not host specific. Which of the above statement statements is are true? So the answer to this question is A. 
one, two, and three statements are correct or are true. The fourth statement is wrong. Viruses are not host specific. Viruses are host specific. And you can see canine distemper virus infect only carnivores. So this is how viruses are host specific. All the three statements are true. One, two, and three. So this is the question number. This was a question number 28. Now the question number 29, which of the following muscles have a striated appearance when observed under the microscope? Number 1, skeletal, number 2, visceral, number 3, cardiac. Option is uh, 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 1 and 3 and all are striated. So the answer is 1 and 3. Skeletal muscles and cardiac muscles are striated type of muscles. Then question number 30. Consider the following pairs of a body part and its function. Bones, that is related to force. Muscles, they act as a fulcrum. Joints, they are, they are helping in a mobility. So which of the above pair is correct? The answer is third only. Joints, that is a mobility. Muscles are not acting like a fulcrum and bones do not generate any kind of a force. Then question number 31. In prokaryotic cell, mesosomes and chromatophores are the modifications of A. Glycopalyx, B. Plasma membrane, C. Cell wall and D. Vacuole. The answer is B. Plasma membrane. Then question number 32. Which of the following cell organelles are not membrane bound? Mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, nucleus, lysosomes, and centrioles. So these are the ribosomes and centrioles. These are not membrane bound. Answer is C. Then question number 33. In dadash, radical elongates to form roots. In case of dicots, the radical elongates to form roots. Then question number 34. Female gametophyte in case of angiosperm is a flower, embryo sac, pollen grain or a stigma. The answer is embryo sac. The answer is B. Then the question number 35, the reason by which the plants are able to suck water from the soil up to its canopy via xylem is A. Gravity, B. Photosynthesis, C. Capillary action and D. Entropy. The answer is capillary action. Then question number 36, which of the following statement statements is are correct? One, digestion in case of fungi is extracellular. Two, fungi are always heterotrophic. Three, cell wall of the fungus is made up of chitin. So the answer is all of the above. Answer is D. Then question number 37. Salai gum is obtained from Boswellia serrata, Acacia senegal, Comnifora, Udia, Acacia sea. The answer is Boswellia serrata. That is A. Then question number 38. The Google owned company DeepMind developed an artificial intelligence program Alpha Phone, which was in the news recently. This program is used to elucidate number A. Structure of protein, B. Structure of viruses, C. Structure of carbohydrates, and D. Structure of lipids. Answer is the structure of a protein A. Answer is A. Then question number 39. Which of the following pair pairs is are correct? These pairs are in between algae and food storage. So if uh, algae is a chlorophyce, food storage is a starch, pheophyce, food storage is a mannitol, rhodophyce, food storage is a low radiant starch. So, whether these pairs are correct or not, 
see the answer is all of the above are correct so this is a question number 39 from set a go to the if you have a set b go to the question number 46 on b4 page number b4 so you will get this question now the next question is the question number 40 what is a blue carbon the carbon trapped in a coal the carbon trapped in a peat moss the carbon trapped in a coastal and marine ecosystem d the carbon trapped in biomass of rainforest the answer is the, the carbon trapped in coastal and marine ecosystem the answer c is the blue carbon so you can see here every year coastal wetlands sequester enough CO2 to offset the burning of over 1 billion barrels of oil. So you can imagine that that much amount of CO2 trapped in this particular type of coastal and marine ecosystem. So such type of carbon is called as a blue carbon. Then question number 44, 41. Meaning of the word Archaeopteryx is ancient bird, ancient being, ancient dinosaur, or ancient warrior. The answer is ancient being. Now, the question number 42 is about anthropology. The famous book, Early Indians, a story of our ancestors and where we came from, is written by Tony Joseph, David Reich, Marija Jimbutas, or David Anthony. The answer is Tony Joseph. This particular type of book is very famous and it shows how our Indian population is made. Who were the early Indians? How or from where they came? So this is all about the early Indian population. And other options in this particular question is uh, David Rich, he is a molecular biologist. He is famous for his book, Who We Are and How We Came Here. Then Merija Jimbutas is also a famous anthropologist. Her work on uh, Kurgan Hypothesis is very famous. Then David Anthony is also an anthropologist. He is famous for his book, The Horse, The Wheels and The Language. So, this book is also translated in Marathi also by Shubangana Atri and Indrayani Chauhan. Aple Purvaj Kon Hote, Aple Purvaj Kuthun Ale Hote. So, all these scientists are from anthropology. Now the question number 43 about the newest mammalian species, white-cheeked macaque discovered in Daedash of India, Assam, Manipur, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh. The answer is Arunachal Pradesh, D. So you can see here, this is the newest mammalian species discovered in India. Then question number 44, OIDA suffix is added after the super family name in case of bacteria, invertebrates, vertebrates or viruses. The answer is the vertebrates. The answer is C. So this question is from taxonomy. This question number 44 in set A is in set B question number 47. Now the question number 45 is extraction of a stem cells from tissue involves ethical issue. Which of the following extraction of stem cell attract right to life issue? This is the question from the ethics and biology field. Option A is umbilical cord extraction. Option B is embryonic extraction. C is adult tissue extraction and D is all of the above. Now the Answer is embryonic extraction. Answer is B. Now, whenever we go for a say stem cell extraction, we have to destroy that particular embryo, and that brings about right to life issue. 
Then question number 46 is the assertion and reason type from applied biology. Assertion is lactose free milk has increased sweetness. Reason is enzyme lactase is used to make lactose free milk. Now the options are A. Assertion is true and the reason is also true. B. Assertion is true but the reason is incorrect. C. Assertion is incorrect but reason is true. And D. Assertion and reason both are wrong. Now the answer is A. Assertion is true and the reason is also true. Lactose free milk has increased sweetness that is because enzyme lactase acts upon the lactose and converts it into glucose and galactose and that's why the milk becomes slightly sweet. So this is question number 46. Then question number 47 last year in 2022 JSI scientists have discovered a new species of Ariosoma bengalens of A. Fish, B. Crab, C. Snail and D. Turtle. The answer is fish A. This is a question number 47 in set A. In set B, this is a question number 65. This is a ill species. Ariosoma bengalis from the Bengal. So the answer is A. Then question number 48. International Primate Day is observed on 1st December, 1st August, 1st September or 1st June. The answer is 1st September. So this is a International Primate Day on 1st September. Now the question number 49 is which of the following pair of cell organelle and its function is true. Here cell organelle is given and function is given. First pair is the nucleus cell management. Number two mitochondria anaerobic respiration and three ribosomes protein synthesis. So the options are A 1 and 2, B 1 and 3, C 2 and 3 and D all of them. The answer is B 1 and 3 that is nucleus is involved in a cell management, ribosomes are involved in a protein synthesis but mitochondria is not involved in anaerobic respiration it is involved in aerobic respiration so this pair second pair is incorrect that's why the answer is one and three that is b in question number 50 is which of the following statement is incorrect a stones are associated with the eukaryotic chromosomes b prokaryotic chromosome is a circular c amino acid pool is present in the nucleus and d mRNA contains triplet codons on them. The answer is C. Amino acid pool is present in the nucleus. So this is a wrong statement. That is because amino acid pool is always present in the cytoplasm. So whatever the amino acids are needed for protein synthesis that are taken by transfer RNAs from this amino acid pool in a cytoplasm and then in the cytoplasm protein synthesis is carried out with the help of ribosomes. So amino acid pool is not present in the nucleus. And then question number 51 during replication of a DNA synthesis of short RNA primer is carried out by an enzyme. DNA polymer is 1, DNA polymer is 2, DNA polymer is 3 or a DNA primase. The answer is DNA primase. Answer is D. Then question number 52 is during photosynthesis, proton accumulation takes place dash dash. A in the cavity of chloroplast, B in a thylakoid species, C in a cytoplasm, and D in a stroma. The answer is in a thylakoid species. 
so answer is B. Then question number 53 is pin proteins in plants are associated with A. Cytokinin, B. Phytoestrogen, C. Abscisic acid and D. Oxygen. So this is the question from the plant physiology. In set A, this is the question number 53 and in set B, it is the question number 58 on page B5. So the answer is auxin. Answer is a D. Then question number 54 is Dardash conducted several experiments to test whether the seeds of a common garden plants could be soaked in salt water, survive and germinate. The options are Charles Darwin, B. Ernest Mayer, C. Aichi, Kurosawa and D. F. Skook. This is the question from the evolution and the answer to this question is Charles Darwin that is answer A. So Charles Darwin wanted to know that how a particular kind of uh, plants can survive during migration via seawater and that's why he soaked some seeds in a uh, salt water and, and to find out whether these seeds may germinate or not so for this experiment he was assisted by his son that is Francis Dar. So this father son duo performed these experiments. Then question number 55 Glyocladium rosium is a diadash which generate chemicals of which 75% are present in the diesel. So Glyocladium rosium is a a. Angiosperm, B. Monocot, C. Fungus or D. Protist. So this question is from the economic botany and the answer to this question is it is a fungus. So that's why it is also called as a mycodiza. So this is was the question number 55. Then question number 56 is Zoological Survey of India ZSI is established in the year 1907. 1916, 1923, 1973. The answer is 1916. Answer is B. So, this question, question number 56, is in set A. If you have got set B, this is the question number 61 on page B5. Now the next question is question number 57. Mountain range in South India is named as a Nilgiri mountain range. This is due to presence of Rajash flowers. This question is from a zoo geographical point of view. Option is A. Strobilanthus kuntiana, B. Thespacia populnia, C. Adnanthera provonina, and D. Peltophorum terocarpa. The answer is Strobilanthus kuntiana. These are commonly called as Neel, Neela Kurunji flowers. Neela means blue and Kurunji means flowers. So these flowers are responsible for giving the South Indian mountain range as a name Nilgiri mountain range. Then Question number 58 is the red sandalwood tree depicted in Pushpa movie is an endangered species and its botanical name is A. Santalum album, B. Pterocarpus santalinus, C. Casuarina equisetifolia, and D. Erythrina indica. So the answer is Pterocarpus santalinus. So this is question number 58. Then question number 59. Name the cell organelle 
which is responsible for converting hydrophobic toxins to water soluble and enables its excretion the options are mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes and plastids the answer is b endoplasmic reticulum so we know that endoplasmic reticulum contains enzyme p450 system which is responsible for detoxification of uh, any kind of uh, harmful material and that uh, detoxification involves converting these toxins into a uh, hydrophilic substances water soluble substances and enable them to excrete out of our body then question number 60 is see the following diagram of heart and identify the pulmonary artery so the answer is d now the question number 61 last year union health ministry revised the national list of essential medicine nlem 2022 this list now includes dash dash drugs a 222 B 384, 4, C 405, and D 584. The answer is 384B. Then question number 62. If you want to study how mice spread through the world, then you will use dash A chromosome 1 and chromosome 2. B mitochondria and chromosome 1 c mitochondria and chromosome y d chromosome y and chromosome 1 the answer is mitochondria and chromosome y the answer is c then question number 62 63 amphibians excrete nitrogen in the form of a urea b uric acid c ammonia and d all of them the answer is C ammonia because amphibians are ammonotelic. Then question number 64 identify the voltage gated calcium channels in the diagram of a synaptic cleft A1, B2, C3 and D4. So this is the axon terminal and this is the synaptic cleft and this is the dendrite. So this is the one we know that this is a, a neurotransmitter vesicle then that is secreting the neurotransmitter then you can see this three is the calcium channel four is the receptor you can see here this is the answer is C. Then question number 65, in set A, question number 65 is there, in set B, question number 72 is this question. So in the set B, we will find this question number 72. We all know that citrus plants are kept under stress for 40 days to induce flowering. In this case, stress inducer is drought, high density, high intensity light low intensity light or ultraviolet light answer is drought answer is a then question number 66 exercise brings out secretion of neurotransmitter in our body which is oxytocin endorphin histamine or no The answer is endorphins. Answer is B. Then question number 67. Out of following four groups of human ancestors, which one is the oldest one? Paranthropus, Australopithecus, Homo or Ardipithecus. All these are the genus of uh, our human ancestors. So the oldest one is Ardipithecus. Answer is D. Now the question number 68. Propolis is a resinous mixture which is a byproduct of sericulture, apiculture, lac culture, 
or pearl culture. So the answer is apiculture. Answer is B. Now the question number 69 is a human papilloma virus or HPV vaccine against cervical cancer should be given to the girls A. Before sexual exposure B. After sexual exposure C. At the time of birth and D. After menopause The answer is before sexual exposure Answer is A. Then question number 70 uh, Insects are rare in the open oceans only one type of insect is most abundantly found in the open oceans and that is A. Odonates, B. Water striders, C. Zooplanktons and D. Mosquitoes. The answer is water striders, B. So, question number 71 is in case of Mendel's law of dominance, the genotypic ratio is a 1 is 2, 2 is to 1, B 3 is to 1, C 2 is to 1 is to 2, and D 1 is to 1 is to 3. The answer is 1 is to 2 is to 1. The answer is A. Then question number 72 is in case of antibodies, two heavy chains are attached with each other by sulfur bonds, hydrogen bonds, electrostatic bonds, or Van der Waals interaction. The answer is sulfur bonds. Then question number 73 is cell wall is found in A. Fungi and plants B. Fungi and animals C. Algae and algae fungi and plants and D. Algae fungi and animals So the answer is algae, fungi and plants Answer is C Then question number 74 is consider the following statements 1. Contactile vacuole is present in the plant cell 2. Food vacuole is present in the animal cell. 3. Plant vacuole is lined by the single membrane called tonoplast. Which of the above statements are true? 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 1 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. The answer is 2 and 3. The answer is B. That is Food vacuole is present in the animal cell and plant vacuole is lined by a single membrane called as a tonoplast. Contractile vacuoles are not present in the plants. Then question number 75. Tandem running behavior is observed in dogs, cattle, ants and fishes. The answer is the ants. The answer is the C. So you can see here a kind of a Tandem running behavior is shown by the ants. Then, question number 76 linked genes are located near each other on the same chromosome, violate the law of independent assortment, segregate together during meiosis, and D all of the above. So, the answer is all of the above. So, all these uh, three statements are true regarding the linked genes. Then question number 77, which of the following is not a zoonotic disease? Malaria, rabies, coronary heart disease and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome that is MERS. So zoonotic disease means that disease which occurs due to the overexposure of animals with the human beings. So the answer here is Coronary heart disease is not a zoonotic disease. Answer is C. Then question number 78. Antibiotic like penicillin can act cannot act against viruses, mycoplasma, heterotropic bacteria, both viruses and mycoplasma. The answer is both viruses and mycoplasma. Answer is D. So then question number 79 is, if a man is eating honey, then he will be placed at dash level in a food chain. First tropic level, second tropic level, third tropic level or a fourth tropic level. This question is in set A is a seven, number 79. In set B, it is a question number 82 on page B7. So the answer is... 
third topic level answer is C and then question number 80 extra nuclear DNA means mitochondrial DNA chloroplast DNA mitochondrial and chloroplast DNA and Y chromosome the answer is mitochondria and chloroplast DNA is extra nuclear DNA now the next question is question number 81 a recently fossil of a common ancestor of osteoctetians and chondroitians was found in china this must be a fish b amphibian c reptile and d mammal so the answer is fish because osteoctetians and chondroitians or osteoctetes and chondroitis these are the classes of a superclass pisces and Pisces means fish. And question number 82. Now the question number 82 is how many bones are present in the vertebral column of adult human? 22, 33, 36 or 38? Answer is 33 b because you can see here 7 cervical vertebrae 12 thoracic vertebrae 5 lumbar vertebrae and fused vertebrae of sacrum that is 5 and coccyx that is 4 so total number of vertebrae are 33 then question number 83 vitamin b5 means biotin pantothenic acid thiamine or a riboflavin the answer is pantothenic acid b then question number 84 is first step in the next generation sequencing is first clonal amplification b construction of a dna library c data analysis or d any one of the above the answer is construction of dna library the answer is b then question number 85 a phenomenon of a trapping pathogen in the chromatin is shown by nk cells neutrophils mast cells or macrophages the answer is neutrophils answer is b that process is known as a natosis so this question question number 85 is in a set a but in set B, this question is question number 88 on page B7. Then we will go to the question number 86. Which of the following animal forms symbiotic association with the algae? Deer, sloth, ants or buffalo? The answer is B, sloth. So you can see here. Uh, this is a kind of a camouflage it uh, bears algae on its ears and that because of that it becomes green in color and then question number 87 consider the following diagram of antibody w x y and z are the positions on the antibody which is the most appropriate position where antigen will bind to antibody whether it is a W or X or Y or a Z. So the answer is A, W. So this position is a, a appropriate position to which the particular kind of a antigen will bind. This is because this is a heavy chain on heavy chain. This is a variable region. On light chain, this is a variable region. So do these two variable regions are responsible for binding with the antigen in question number 88 identify x y z in the diagram a a x is amnion y is allantois z is a chorion so b x is a chorion y is allantois z is amnion C. X is allantois, Y is amnion, Z is a chorion. Or a D. X is a chorion, 
Y is ambient or Z is electrons? The answer is answer is A. X is a amnion, so this is a amniotic cavity, and in this amniotic cavity, amniotic fluid is there. So this is a amnion. Y is a allantois. So this is a allantois. Y and Z. Z is a core. So you can see here Z is a core. So the answer is A. Then question number 89. Long term in ingestion of a pesticide via water vegetables leads to A. Cancer of intestine. B. Blood related disorder. C. Develops adaptive immunity. And D. Accumulation of pesticides in the body fat. So the answer is accumulation of pesticides in a body fat. The answer is D. These all these are the after effects of the accumulation of pesticides. So this is the most appropriate answer in this for this question. Then question number 90. Identify the correct equation of Hardy Winberg law. P plus Q is equal to 1. P plus Q plus 2 PQ is equal to 1. P plus Q to the brackets square is equal to 1. P square plus Q square is equal to 1. The answer is a C. That is P plus Q to the bracket square is equal to 1 is the correct answer. So this question number 90 is in a set A. But in case of set B, this is a question number 94 on page B8. So this is question number 90 then we will go to the next question now the question number 91 which hormone enables plants to withstand drought like situations a gab gaba then b abscisic acid c cytokine and d gibberellins the answer is abscisic acid then question number 92 corals are included in the phylum porifera or a cylindrata or a annelida or arthropoda so we know that the answer is cylindrates answer is b so this is question number 92 from invertebrate zoology then question number 93 International Day for Biological Diversity is observed on 22 March, 22 May, 10 October or 1937. The answer is 22 May. The answer is B. Then question number 94. Which technique is used to insert DNA fragments into the cell via temporary holes in the plasma membrane? A. Electrophoresis, B. PCR, C. Southern blotting, and D. Electroporation. The answer is electroporation. The answer is D. Then, question number 95. In December 2022, India and 196 countries agreed to set a 30 by 30 target. To reverse biodiversity loss. What is it? A. To identify 30 Ramsar sites for wetland conservation by 2030. B. To identify 30 new species by 2030. C. To designate 30% of world's land and ocean area for conservation by 2030. Or D. All of the above. The answer is to designate 30% of world's land and ocean area for conservation by 2030. The answer is C. Then question number 96. Vomiting is induced during or after the swinging. This is because it first stimulates eyes, 
ears, stomach, intestine. The answer is ears. Answer is B. So we know that the balancing organ is ears. So then question number ninety-seven. Casparian strips are the lining of epidermal cells. B strip of mesenchymal cells. C modified cell wall of the endodermal cells or a D present in guard cell of the stomata. The answer is modified wall cell wall of the endodermal cells. Answer is C. Then now the question number ninety eight. Who is the father of Indian paleontology? A. P. K. K. Nair. B. M. O. P. Ayankar. C. Erika Carius. D. E. J. Butler. Well, the answer is P. K. K. Nair. Answer is A. M. O. P. Ayankar was a father of Indian algology. Erika Carius is a father of lichenology, and E. J. Butler is a father of Indian mycology. Then question number ninety-nine is white patch in the map of India shows a distribution of so this white patch, this one and this one. This shows the distribution of lion, tiger, black buck, or dalbergia sisu. So the answer is a black buck. The answer is black buck. Then question number hundred is which of the following pair pairs is are correct? One paper cellulose, two cotton cellulose, three starch polysaccharide. The answer is all of the above that is all of the above are correct we get a cellulose from a paper cotton cellulose from a cotton or a paper is made up of cellulose cotton is also cellulose and a starch is a kind of a polysaccharide so this is all about the Biogenius 2023. Hope you have done very well. So best of luck to become a Biogenius 2023. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Bamus Biogenius for latest uploads or like my videos and comment. Thank you.